today we're gonna make maple Dijon chicken thighs. So let's go through the ingredients. First, we have one package of chicken thighs. I get the organic um, chicken thighs from Costco that come in the three pack. That way I can take out how much I need and freeze the rest. So, or you can make a whole bunch and save it for later for the rest of the week. And then we're gonna make a marinade. So for the marinade, we have one fourth a cup of Dijon mustard. I get the organic Dijon mustard from Whole Foods. You can use any Dijon mustard, just check the ingredients and make sure that there's nothing funky in there. Mustard is one of those things that's usually pretty clean. Um, this one does use sea salt, which is why I prefer it. Then we're gonna use a tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of maple syrup, but real maple syrup. So I have this one from Sprouts. They sell um, pure maple syrup at Whole Foods, uh, Market Street, you can get it in specialty stores like TJ Maxx and Raw sometimes sell it. I typically get this type of maple syrup because regular mainstream maple syrup usually has a ton of corn syrup and maple flavor instead of actually being maple syrup. So, um, The next ingredient is two teaspoons of soy sauce. I can't have wheat so most soy sauces are out so I'm using the cocoa aminos. This is similar to the coconut aminos if you're one of our clients that we've posted about. This was just in natural grocers and it was cheaper so I got this one instead. Um, but it's made with coconut so it doesn't have any wheat or soy in it. So if you're, it's, it's soy sauce, but it tastes just like soy sauce. So it's a great substitute. Then we're taking two cloves of garlic and about a teaspoon of fresh rosemary. And we're gonna mix all that into the mustard. I also preheated the oven at 375. That was what that beeping was to remind me that I didn't tell you guys that. I'm mixing it in this cup so I can save on uh, washing dishes. It's always easier that way. Just pouring that in. If you have one of those little whisks, that'd be helpful in this situation. I do not. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna whisk, whisk it with a fork. Just wanna make it pretty well incorporated. It mixes pretty easily. Okay. And because this, we're using soy sauce or fake soy sauce and the Dijon mustard, you don't need to add extra salt. It is pretty salty already. Um, so if you do need to use salt, I would use it, I would try it um, when it's cooked and don't add it now. So all we're gonna do is just pour this mixture. That's why it's helpful to leave it in the measuring cup because it makes it easier to pour. Pour it over the chicken. You're gonna scrape it out. That's why I have this little handy tool to get all that good stuff in there. You're gonna pour that over and it is just gonna marinate and cook and be all crispy brown. We're gonna cook this for 45 to 60 minutes. So just keep an eye on it at the 45 mark. Um, I do have a thermometer somewhere. I'll show you later. I'll show you when I'm taking it out. I do have a, a chicken, um, pork, um, fresh and steak thermometer so that you can check how done the chicken is. So I'll show you that when it's coming out. So we're gonna pop this in the oven for 45 to 60 minutes. Okay, the chicken was in there for about 15 minutes and as you can see, it's all golden brown and there's quite a bit of um, sauce left and I would just use that for to pour over the veggies um, or whatever side dish you're having with it. So that's it. See you next time.